Hi, this is Paul from TradeTheFifth.com and this is an update on my five hot stocks for 2019 as of the 1st of March. I want to go through some uh, all, five, all five stocks, look at where we are in some of the trades, uh, trade management, that sort of thing. And we've had a little loss as well. Uh, this is the real world. We do get losers. Uh, so let's have a look. Uh, PTC firstly, remember this is a longer term swing. We triggered into this last week. This week, we've got the higher high, higher low. But so far, we have a little negative week. So we've actually closed so far lower. It's today's Friday. Uh, we've got a little bit left today. Futures looking very positive during the European session this morning. Uh, those US uh, index futures looking very positive. Uh, Main thing for me is I look at this 535 oscillator here. We have crowned and we're coming back to zero. That bullish momentum is really, really going. And the stochastic now is in the overbought zone. So don't think it's going to go short. We may have a little pullback. But when we get strong uh, bullish momentum, we have this false breakout stochastic here. Uh, on our Elliott Wave Indicator Suite, which denotes a strong bullish trend. You see these false breakouts in here. We're looking for that similar sort of action in our stochastic as we start to move up to initially to the $100 level there on PTC. So I'm using our Elliott Wave Indicator Suite from TradeTheFifth.com for the Think or Swim trading platform to go through all of these. But it's also available for Ninja Trader, Multi Charts, and TradeStation. So let's go on to the next Adobe. Okay, I'm going to go to the four hour on this one. We've had a really good trade on this so far. 240.06 was the entry uh, way back when. Okay, uh, back here, nice swing. We've 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 rode the the wave four pullback on the four hour. Found great support in our EMA cloud and our. Um, probability pullback zone and then we've gone on we actually broke through this resistance level yesterday but uh, I want to show you the daily time frame in a minute but the trading stop now I've been very very aggressive with before I had it underneath this resistance level and below the cloud but we saw I saw signs of uh, exhaustion yesterday and we could get a pullback going into earnings next week so what I've done uh, I've put the trading stop and I've locked in 180% profit times risk. Now, uh, one of the other reasons for this is the UMP that we'll look at in a minute on the 60 minute time frame. We had a little bit of loss on that one. Uh, we've already taken 230% profit on UMP. We'll go through that in a minute. But that then makes me decide on this group of five stocks that I'm trading, I need to be more aggressive with this trailing stop on Adobe and others as we go through. So locked in that profit. When we look at the daily time frame here, we can see we've had a rejection of the highs on high volume. So what do I mean by high volume? Let me just, that's the weekly, let's go to the daily. So we got a, uh, what we call a green candle here. Now this, is uh, high volume so gray and blue are low volume uh, neutral candles but this closed slightly higher than the open but we had loads of volume yesterday and it rejected those highs so a rejection of those of those highs at high volume could be the sign that it's going to turn down and have a pullback and i'm not interested in that right now i've had a great trade on adobe and I've got even more aggressive with that trading stop. Hence, 259.41 is a trading stop there. Gives it a little bit of room to test this previous resistance zone um, today. Uh, we could, in fact, get another bullish day today. Again, we don't know what that means until we get the confirmation day afterwards or the confirmation candle afterwards. So that was a rejection on high volume today. We need to see how the candle closes today. However, I've been, I put, took the precaution, I've been safe, got the discipline in there, and we've put the trading stop at 259.41, just in case it does come back down. If it doesn't, brilliant, we'll make some more decisions next week going into earnings. Okay, so next, UMP. Remember on UMP, we, we took our first profit on these five stocks uh, quite recently on the daily time frame here uh, on this move up there really really strong move 230 percent profit times risk 
uh, on the breakout trade for UMP. Uh, I did set up one last week on the 60 minute time frame, but it took out the, took out the stop loss. Now, it's not the end of the world. Uh, we have already taken 230 on this. We've just lost 100% profit times risk here, but this wave four continues to pull back. If it does find support at this, uh, at our support level and in the, uh, the amber zone there, we could look for a potential long again. Remember, I'm trading these stocks all year. I've got to look for opportunities. The pullback's been deeper than I uh, thought would be, so we took a little loss. My 535 is still within 90 to 140%. The multiple time frame dot cloud showing that we are below the cloud on the hourly and the two hourly. But this is a pullback so far. If we start to go bullish again, start to go green, could be a good sign. So it's not over yet. We're still in profit for UMP overall for the year. Uh, we'll just keep a, a track an eye on this pullback as it occurs. So Costco is next. This one triggered very recently, remember, we're looking for the breakout here through this big support resistance zone. And we got a higher high, higher low yesterday. We got an indecision doji though. So we got increased volume because it was green. Previous day bullish action was good, uh, but it was great. So it was lower volume. So yesterday we got, on Thursday, we got that increased volume, got the higher high, higher low. Um, so it's a good sign, good price action, but we got that indecision doji. Again, we don't make any decisions or anything like that. We don't, and we've got a crystal ball. We just let the following day happen. See what happens. What price action do we get? Does it continue to go higher? Do we consolidate? We don't know. All we know is we got a higher high, higher low yesterday, and this is looking pretty good. So we just got to give it a chance uh, to work through. It's an early trade. It's young. Uh, but it's looking good. Now we've got to consider what happened, what we do on earnings coming up on the 7th of March. So we are going to have to make a decision going into earnings, whether we're going to ride that, but I'll do some more um, research on that next week. And then finally into, so we've already taken profit on into, OK, we took off half the position before earnings, if you remember. OK, so I took 250 percent profit to at the 250 percent line. I took half my position off. So 125 percent profit in the bank. OK, done. Now, then we had the earnings reaction and it went with us. So uh, we've gone we've gone large. We've gone into this fifth wave zone here on the daily. And then the last four days, we formed this bullish pennant. Now, I'm really not interested in giving a lot away there. Um, if it does break down here, not interested. So I've moved my trailing stock to 244.88, which is a 330% profit. But because I've only got half a position left, it's half of that. OK, so 165% uh, percent profit times risk. Um, Locked in, basically, unless we've got a huge gap down, uh, but it doesn't look like we're going to do that. So with the 165, the 125, you know, we're, we are at, uh, net, you know, net, you know, 290 percent. So it's a good trade. We just got to let this play out. We are at these all time highs. It could come down for a pullback and we're not interested. We can trade it again later on in the year. Let's see what happens. We've been sensible through the earnings play. We got what we needed. Uh, we we took half position off, took great profit. We had a sensible trading stop down here uh, to cope with any pullbacks after earnings, but it didn't happen. We got the right play. It moved higher, and then we got this bullish flag forming now, bullish pennant. And that you know, in usual cases, those uh, you know, 80% of the time. The, the price will break out to the upside of these bullish pennants here. But we just have to give it a little time, see what's doing. I'll draw that on there for you so you can see. Um, but basically, we are now, we are contracting in price action. So what we have is this type of effect here, where this is why it's called a bullish flag. Um, you know, we've got the, the flagpole here and we've got this contraction in price action. And also we've got some low volume days. We've got a high volume day. 
Wednesday to the upside, high volume day to the downside yesterday. So there's there's a little bit of indecision where we're going at the moment. But sensible trading stock below the low here at 244.88, locking in more profits. Okay, so that's an update on all five of my hot stocks for 2019. Uh, and I will just try and keep an update every week or every two weeks as and when we get some decisions to be made. But looking good so far, overall, we have um, around about 255% profit already in this combined with uh, two of the trades. We've got another 165% locked in. Uh, so it's looking good. Let's keep trading these five stocks during 2019. Have a great trading day and a great weekend.